first what you want to do is download the server config in the description and it will just download a server.config it will be extremely fast because it's only 221 bytes and then as uh, you can see here if I edit my start.bat that we made in the previous parts that, that this is where the dash safe g and then the destination comes in so that is where your save what your server config is going to be so it's in save slash server so which means it'll be in the save folder so if we go into the save folder that means I have to put it in here so just drag and drop that into here and then edit that and here are the settings Arkham password that is the password that your admins are going to log in with. I just meant admin for tutorial purposes. Uh, daytime, 999. Pretty much, it's in minutes. So, this is, in effect, an infinite daytime. Although it's not. Sense of unity, false. Because we're all guys here. Server PvP, so that is true. If you want people to fight, you'll be able to fight. Crafting instant, definitely recommend putting that on true. Makes your crafting instant because who wants to walk around slowly while waiting to craft? Plant timeout 30. That's 30 minutes of standing still before you get kicked. Minimum players for an airdrop is 1 because if there's only one person on the server, then there can still be airdrop. So that's 2 if, and then there will, be, there will only be airdrops if there's 2 people. Uh, truth and verse. You don't really need to explain that. Full damage enabled. False. That means full damage, you know, you all know that is, and, and if it's on false that means there won't be full damage on the server. So you can just save that, and then that's that part. Alright, now you can start your server. So what you're going to do is go into your server directory, run start.bat, it's going to load your plugins, load your config, it's going to say running save slash server config, which means it accessed it and it's now running, and it's going to load the world and server initialized. Now you can go back into Rust, play a game, and you can join your server. So you're just going to wait for it to join again. Okay, now you're in the server. You can press F1 to open the console and type archon.login and then the password, so it's at minus admin. And scroll down because mine was scrolled up for some reason. And it'll say logged in as admin. Now you can use your commands. You have permission, which means go into the console and then open the link in the description. It goes to Oxmin. Just open that for you. Right, Oxmin. See, now you type oxmin dot give flag danby your name and then all and it will give all flags to you being the own well the admin of the server. And now you can type god and you now have the flag god mode. So if I go up and punch this wolf here, I can get over there, slow running. No, it won't hit me. Won't do damage. You can also give yourself items. Give uh, quote five five six mo one hundred. Give yourself a hundred five five six mo. And you can do all the other commands. Links to commands will be in the description as well. Now to port forwarding your server. What you're going to need to do is go to your default port, which is normally 192.168.0.1 and it'll open up your provider username admin, and then you type in your password and I'm obviously on version so this is, this is what I'm going to do For other, I'm not sure about other routers, although I can try to help if you message me or comment you're going to need to go to advanced settings and wait for that to load. Come on. 
I'll come back when it's loaded. Okay, so when you're in the advanced settings, what you need to do is navigate to port forwarding and open port forwarding. Now, to create your Rust uh, port forward, you can just type in the name, set that to anything, uh, Rust server tutorial. Start port 28015, which is the default port for Rust, and then again 28015, which is because you only need one port, so you don't need to have a range. TCP, UDP, and then set the IP to whatever you want. Set mine to 7. And then you click add rule. And it will create a rule down here. Rust 255, no, 2, uh, 28015, TCP, UDP, 192.168.0.7, enable. And now your friends will be able to join your IP when you type, what's my IP? This is the IP you have to give them. So they, when your friends want to join the game, they will get this IP. And press F1, net.connect, paste the IP, colon, 28015. And then you just put that IP in. And then they better join your server. And now I'm in the game. And it's the same server because it says you've woken up from two minutes of unconsciousness. And the wolf trying to kill me. That's okay because I'm still in god mode. That concludes the th three part series on setting up your Rust Legacy server. If you have any questions or queries, post it in the comments or just direct message to the channel. Thanks for watching. Sign out. Mm -hmm. Loud, please.